Here we go. How is going today? Lola, let's get my Dwayne. Name's Jess. We're the way to Jess. We have Venom versus Krona, Marvel versus Soul Eater, mm -hmm. Dazzle by Tyler. Soul Eater has a special place in my heart, yo. Mm -hmm. It and does. Fire Force has a special one in mine. But Soul Eater, you which one do you think is better? Soul, Soul Eater needed another season. It did. It did. It, it, it could it could have went it could have went longer. Longer, for but sure. you know due to complications. Yeah. It didn't but happen. then we are Venom. So. <laughs> da -dum, gotta go get it. <laughs> all right. Anyway, all right. Are you talking about the Eminem song? Yeah. Venom. 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 Alright, anyway, um, guys, comment below, uh, let, I mean, it's our video, don't worry, I'm just playing. If you guys have any questions, please follow us on social media, and the link in the description below, don't forget to subscribe, let's dive on it. It's always nice to have a best friend that takes to your hip. I'm like, you didn't ask for that friend. But these two take their <laughs> friends even further than that. Venom, the lethal symbiote, and Spider-Man's <laughs> best friend me, and Krona, oh. the deadly demon sword from Soul Eater. Mm -hmm. He's wins the man boomstick, and it's our job mm. to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills. How are they gonna fight? Who would win a death battle? Oh, okay. Ah, I see. At the I was beginning of time, like in the something. faraway reaches of space, the Clintar rose from a living darkness. Venom. One of these amorphous symbiotes was Venom. Who was a mm. freaking loser? Hey, don't look on at me, all the good yeah. believe we're saying it. So they kicked the poor slime ball straight off the planet. Yeah. In its exile, the symbiote underwent a number of misadventures which firmly shaped its personality. Mm -hmm. It bonded to a heroic Kree soldier rescuing refugees, mm. a violent no. monster who committed genocide, and no. apparently Deadpool. Really? No yeah. one him so messed up in the head. Eventually, the symbiote was discovered by Peter Parker, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. It gave him a pretty slick black suit and awesome new yeah, powers. That's but after so finding nice. out it was a confused raging psychopathic alien, Pete decided to exercise it with the power of Christian Ruff. A wise decision, though, <laughs> ill-timed, as this event would cause the symbiote to finally meet its greatest partner, Edward Brock. Yeah, he oh. was a journalist with the unluckiest backstory ever. While trying to uncover the identity of a serial killer, he blamed the wrong guy. The mm. same day he published Bad his man. article, Spidey caught the real killer <laughs> who lived right next door to the dude Eddie blamed. Who already uh. blamed Eddie for his wife dying in childbirth. On top Jeez. of all of that, Eddie learned he developed adrenal cancer. Oh, oh God, oh, make it end already. Man. <laughs> and I thought 2020 was rough. I almost don't Man. blame him for becoming a supervillain. With all hope lost, he begged God to take it all away and got oh, an answer. Oh, he's a terrible the Venom. Symbiote. Oh my Just God. like Camden Planet with their he powers combined, these two losers became a super loser. <laughs> well, no, they actually became a horrifying monster with all of Spider-Man's powers and then mm -hmm. so. Their mutual hatred of Spider-Man caused the symbiote to bond to Eddie like no host ever before. Mm. They were perfect. A terror in the night, an unstoppable demon. They were venom. venom. It even cured Eddie's cancer. Sort of. It's complicated. Apart from Spider-Man's webbing and web crawling powers, Venom can use shape shifting to mold his body into cool dude. Look at that. Look. Swords, shields, tendrils, worm monster things, even wings. Yeah, imagine Whoa. seeing this guy flying outside. Hell, I didn't even know he could do that. Running. Okay, I'm Let's running. Never again. Venom can camouflage his entire body. Heal severe wounds like impalement and lost limbs. See all around him at once and psychically project emotions onto others. But his weakness Normally, is this just hard. makes people feel sorry for themselves, Bad. like Wiz on Tinder. But one time he convinced a bunch of other symbiotes that life was meaningless <coughs> and they killed themselves. Oh my that's God. dark. If desperate, the symbiote can even invade the bodies of others and make them burst from inside yeah. out. Gross mm. and awesome. But if he doesn't want to pop them like a fun balloon, he can just take over their body like a creepy puppet master. <laughs> While yes. attached to a victim, Venom can control them by fusing the symbiote to their nervous system, specifically mm. the brainstem and frontal lobes. Mm. Fighting off this mind control is extremely difficult unless you have powers that can directly counter it, such as another symbiote. Oh, God! Aliens, tentacles, and oh. mind control? Mm. Are we sure this episode is ready for everyone, or do we need to start blurring stuff? Uh, don't mm. worry. Aside from being a horrible mass murderer, Venom's stories are completely wholesome. All right. right. Venom proved a dangerous <laughs> thorn in Spider-Man's side it's and frequently scary. ruined his life. Even taking a page out of my favorite book, The Most Dangerous Game, and hunting him mm. on a private island. 
Yeah, he was the coolest rival ever. But over the years, things kind of calmed down a bit. They even teamed up every so often. See, even they with did. so much yeah. anger, Eddie had a legitimate desire to protect others. As a teenager stealing his dad's car, he accidentally ran over and killed a child. Oh my Despite gosh. Despite his desire to confess, his father forced him to plead innocent and rigged the jury. Damn. The guilt has weighed him down wow. ever since. So while Venom does have a hunger for human brains, he'd rather eat he the face off a criminal than an innocent person. Yeah, Venom's he has as tough as they come. He survived Ghost Rider's penance stare. He's strong enough mm -hmm. to toss a tank wow. hundreds of feet up and fast enough to take down Spidey 2099. Mm -hmm. Who once got me no like that one? Well, it was no, I didn't know much about it. But I the outfit looked cool. Because yeah. yeah. it looked like Ultimate Spider Man. Spider -Man. Since it allows Parker, Parker to react in microseconds, he can still keep up with all the usual Spidey gallery. Plus, while symbiotes have a severe weakness to high pitched sound and heat, he's yep. developed resistances to them. Like when he took this giant explosion, or when he survived a sonic scream from some mutant gremlins that shattered all glass within 10 miles. Oh, while he may be tougher to take down than most other symbiotes, Venom never fully overcame his weaknesses. Nope. However, his symbiotic genes provide far more help than harm. This includes traits and memories from other hosts like Scorpion and Flash Thompson. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wow. Bullets are a genetic trait? How do I pass what? that down? Venom <laughs> would certainly need a lot of firepower to survive an encounter with the symbiote god. Ah, oh, geez, here we go. Excuse At first, me? the Clintar symbiotes were seen as a peaceful people. But oh turns out <laughs> they were actually living weapons forged by the primordial deity Null in an attempt to conquer the universe. And I bet next up, Marvel decides their magic maple syrup people from Asgardian. <laughs> but okay, cosmic sludge made by alien Satan. Let's go with that. Okay. Despite it all, Eddie and the symbiote have proven they're far more than the dark legacy the Clintar were intended for. They've mm. even gained the respect of the Avengers and eventually considered Spider-Man a friend. Sort of. It's mm. complicated. Eddie really <laughs> is the best pal Venom could have found. And let's be real, he just looks freaking badass. He does. Yeah. He's so cool. Ravaged humanity, nearly yeah. driving all mankind into the depths of madness. Mm -hmm. This monster mm -hmm. could only be defeated and sealed away by the God of Death. So, uh, mm -hmm. why is the literal God of Death so goofy looking? You ever not scared, death? No, man, even Thanos' girlfriend is scarier than this clown. Uh, yeah. If you are unfamiliar with the world right. of Soul Eater, prepare yourself. It's different. Yeah. Well, not mm -hmm. one in a return of the apocalypse, death in his oven mitt found in a school. Death Academy! Here, warriors mm -hmm. called Meisters would train to fight evil using the power of their souls. They even got neat demon weapons that doubled as people. Together, yeah. they learned courage, chivalry, unbreakable friendship. You know, all, all that anime favorite? Crap. Krona Gorgon was no. not mm -hmm. one of these students. Buckle up! It's all Gloomsville from here! It's abused by their mother. Medusa, a witch obsessed yeah. with the legendary Kishi. You can see where this is going. Anime Uma Thurman was such a fan <laughs> figure. Hey, why don't I make my own Kishin? So she used her child as a guinea pig in a yeah. bunch of crazy experiments. You know, it kind of sounds like something you do, Wiz. Don't be silly. I only use actual guinea pigs. Part of Medusa's great experiment included bonding Krona to a weapon, much like the Meisters of Death Academy. Mm -hmm. However, joining with Ragnarok was a bit more literal. Ragnarok used to Ragnarok be a run-of-the-mill transforming weapon person until Medusa melted him alive in black blood. Black blood being another experiment of hers. Krona's own blood is, in fact, this same black blood, which they can remotely control. It can be used to heal wounds and even harden as a sort of internal armor. Cooking rags and black blood turned him into a brand new weapon that was literally poured into Krona's bloodstream. Mm. From that Jeez. point on, Krona and Ragnarok were two halves of the same person. Mm. The meek and tortured child firmly attached to their loud and brazen weapon. And Raggy has that black blood control too. They can yank poor Krona around like a puppet. They can use black Whatever blood to want. create wings, thorny vines, all kinds of weapons. And big ass needles. <laughs> I hate needles. What's up with that mouth when he transforms into a sword? Yeah. That thing's messed up. Like yeah. the Meisters, oh, Krona can wield their own sword in combat. Yep. Amplified by Ragnarok Maybe as a that's technique good against called Venom. Scream Resonance. Yep. Think of it like hooking an electric guitar up to an amp. Though mm -hmm. more akin to a screeching banshee on LSD. I didn't know you played. I don't. 
Yeah, I almost Ooh. forgot about that. It's incredibly powerful, causing yeah, internal damage to foes this. and making Ragnarok vibrate to increase his cutting power. Mm. Hey, are you okay? What? <laughs> With this bleeding. weapon at their side, Krona set out on a quest to become a Tishi, which mm -hmm. required quite a lot of homicide. Yeah. Yeah, Ragnarok can and absorb soul the eating. souls of dead people, and supposedly enough souls will turn Krona into the Kishi. So they went around slaughtering hundreds of people. Mm -hmm. Despite their name, Death Academy wasn't exactly a fan. Particularly their star student, Maka Albert. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, she and Krona ended up becoming good friends. Until they weren't. Sort of. It's yeah. complicated. As a pawn in Medusa's mission, Krona gained several levels of new potential. Notably, after gaining or absorbing the powers of the monstrous Black Clown, the demon tool Brew, and even Ashura, the original Kishi. All of which increased Krona's abilities, especially the black blood. Now Krona can turn their entire body into goop, and the slightest touch could inflict madness. That's madness with a capital M, by the way. <laughs> this madness is a corruptive effect that causes targeted variants to be in session, often spread as a wavelength. I want to the wavelength of Krona's yeah. mad blood specifically causes it's been so violent long since I watched it. Krona oh, no. may be a pawn, but they're a badass. They can cut through a whole ghost ship. Cover the moon with sound waves. Mm -hmm. Open the moon's mouth? What the hell is wrong with that moon? <laughs> Krona and Ragnarok have held their own against multiple Death Academy students, including Maka, Death the Kid, and Blackstar. Mm -hmm. Sometimes all at once. Kid once flew from Nevada to Egypt in less than a minute, and Blackstar is even faster. He's dodged oh, really? lasers and been tracked moving over 20 kilometers in six microseconds mm -hmm. while approaching mm -hmm. Baba Yaga Castle. And Krona's been able to make enough mad blood to crush a whole goddamn Ukrainian city. While this city isn't named, mm -hmm. we can use a similar metropolitan area in Ukraine. Ukraine. Kiev, for instance. With this in mind, Krona must have created over 9 trillion tons of black them, blood. Them, blood. Enough to fill over 6 all billion of I don't really. Like, they, you know when they Krona's do numbers, it's, it's yeah. crucial. Yeah. I didn't see no they numbers on Venom. On his, no. <laughs> there was no numbers on Venom. <laughs> Even then, Medusa's plan ultimately succeeded. After years of scheming, Krona absorbed the power of Ashura and became a Kishi. Well, more like Kishi <laughs> absorbed Krona, but Close enough. Mm -hmm. But with the power of friendship, Krona ironically wound up that defeating power the Kishi once and for all. That's despite all their life armor. being nothing but the power of friendship, Krona was the one who ultimately saved the world. With an added side effect of a new madness wavelength that made everyone obsessed with boobs. Truly a positive effect <laughs> of people man. everywhere. Just give up. Beautiful I'm tired man. of trying to figure out how to deal with you. <laughs> All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. But I'm gonna go with Venom. I already knew you was. I already knew you was. I mean, I like both. I like both too, but my boy Venom. Come on. I wanna be alone. Oh, I'm not Just grabbing the arm. Pay attention, you turd. She was always beating him up. Lucky day. Two brains for the price of one. Yep, it hardens. Your blood. I know. 
Uh oh. Oh, you oh see yeah, the moon. Wake up, stupid! Oh, the wing. They're like, I could do the same thing. Mm. Oh, that's lit. I like that. They got the big fight near the moon. Mm -hmm. and multitude of weapons kept Krona on guard. Unfortunately, Venom lacked the power needed to keep up a prolonged fight. No. Nope. Yeah, Krona magic black star speed makes for a pretty clear difference. Krona could reach Mach 9000. Who said that? Venom Numbers. Numbers. Around Mach 2000. Mm -hmm. And while Venom has shown incredible physical strength that puts Spider-Man to shame, he could never compete with 9 trillion tons of magic. Numbers. Which, mm -hmm. by the way, that precise control of the black blood totally meant Krona could push out any of Venom's attempt at being a puppeteer. And yep. Krona shown even greater feats of strength as well. Assuming all of the moon's teeth are similar in size and stone, it opening this jaw is equivalent to lifting okay. over 10,000 tons. Of course, the final nail in Eddie's coffin was the fact that half of Krona's arsenal was sound-based. Basically, Venom's kryptonite. Yeah, Someone Venom recall that Venom, Venom did gain a notable resistance to sound attacks. Mm -hmm. So we needed to determine if Krona's sonic waves were great enough to effectively harm him. You know those yeah. gremlins who shattered every window in 10 miles with a screech attack? The symbiote barely survived it, so that's a good high end to look at. It takes at least a hundred decibels to shatter glass normally. Mm. To cover that much distance, the combined sonic blast must have equaled about 244 decibels. Mm. In contrast, in order to engulf the moon, Krona's sonic waves must have reached over 275 decibels. Yeah. Yes, then Math. considering the weird size and shape of the moon. Oh, just look at that freaky thing. <laughs> sure, 275 doesn't seem that much more than 244, but decibels increase on a logarithmic rate. This yep. means Krona's sound attack was actually over a thousand times stronger. Wow. wow. For yep. sure wasn't surviving that. Eddie and the symbiote held their own with versatility, but Krona and Ragnarok had them beat in destructive power, blistering speed, and an arsenal that could take advantage of Venom's key weakness. Mm -hmm. Looks like Venom just got Ragnarokked. Okay, the winner is Krona. That was good. I already knew he was going. Venom was going to take an L. All right, who we got next time? Next time. Red versus blue. Oh, red versus blue. I got a tank. What? birthday too on my birthday too. Oh, so, they know that on my birthday. They know it's off. They know, you know, like, oh, I, I know. don't know. I have no I have idea. I have no idea. I think they're just gonna let it go. <laughs> they're just gonna be like red, blue. Have at it. I don't know how they're gonna do it. We gonna see what's up. Know. It's on my birthday too. It's yeah. on my birthday. Hey, we got we definitely gonna check it out. It's on my birthday. It's on my birthday. <laughs> anyway guys, uh, comment below guys let us know what you think. Never get to like